This video is sponsored by Electron, an electric vehicle charging manufacturer committed to redefining how we power our vehicles. Hey folks, welcome back to Ed's Garage at Bannister Hyundai. Today, I wanna to talk about vehicle to load adapters, specifically this Electron vehicle to load adapter. So this is not a Hyundai product. This is a third party company uh, that has decided to uh, manufacture a vehicle to load, uh, vehicle -to -load adapter uh, that's a little bit different, so just going to give it a quick review. We're going to test it out and uh, see how it is. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you this is a much more compact form factor than the Hyundai vehicle to load adapter because uh, that one itself wouldn't even fit in this box. So uh, they both do the job, but this one is probably a little bit more sleek. Uh, as far as pricing goes, this is also a little bit less uh, in price. But uh, let's have a look here. So we got a vehicle to load adapter user manual in here. So some pretty basic stuff. I mean, these are pretty easy to, uh, to use. You just plug it in and then plug whatever you're wanting to, you know, use into the back of it. All right, let's have a look here. So yeah, as you can see, definitely a much more compact design. The, uh, the other one is like, like that big, a little, bit, a little bit bulkier. So on the back here, you have a, a little door you open up and there's your 120 volt power outlet. And then on the front, of course, is the J1772 connector with the lock as well. And there's a QR code on the side here as well. I'm not 100% sure what that's for, but we'll scan that in and, uh, and have a look. Looks like it might just go to the contact us thing here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks very similar to the QR code that's in the manual. So it might just be a support or something like that. But anyway. Yeah, so this of course is a 15 amp, 120 volt adapter. So what that means, 15 times 120 volts, that works out to 1800 watts. So this should be sufficient for anything that goes up to about 1800 watts. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to charge my car with another car. So we're gonna plug that in and give that a shot. Um, compatibility wise, this of course is only compatible with the Ionic 5 currently, uh, presumably the Ionic 6, once that, you know, comes out in Canada, uh, you know, I'll be able to give that a shot as well. So that's a vehicle that I'm waiting for is the Ionic 6. And I imagine there's isn't going to be any different because they're both on the same platform. Uh, yeah, this is specifically saying that it is compatible with the Ionic 5 currently. So this vehicle to load adapter and of course other EV related products can be found at www ev-electron.com. They've got a wide selection of uh, different products specifically for electric vehicles. So check them out on the web. Now, if you go to Amazon and search for Electron, you'll also find their Amazon store is going to be a lot there as well. I also keep a, uh, or also include a link to both of those areas in the description below. So if you're looking for this specifically, that link will be in the description as well. All right, let's move on and test this guy out. All right, so what we have here is a brand new 2023 Hyundai Ionic 5 and my old 2017 Hyundai Ionic EV. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug one into the other. So we'll start with the Ionic 5 here. And we'll plug in the vehicle to load adapter. There we go. I will plug the charging cable that came with my Ionic into my Ionic. So we've got basically just a level one charger. Obviously, it's not going to be able to uh, to run a level two charger with it only being 120 volts. We've got a little cover here we open up, exposes the 120 volt outlet. Let's get the, uh, the charger plugged in here. There we go, just like that. I like how compact that is, it's really nice. All right, now the question is, is it gonna work? All right, so right off the bat, there is a problem. So the Ionic 5 is reporting that it's transferring power to you know, the vehicle to load adapter. As you can see here on the screen, transferring V2L. Um, unfortunately, it's not charging. My guess is probably what's happening is because there's no ground, the charger on my car is just showing a ground fault. Um, so yeah, that's probably what's going on. But we're gonna check the vehicle to load settings here and have a look. So it says minimum charge 20%. Now this is pretty cool actually. You can set how low the battery gets before it stops uh, the vehicle to load from functioning. Um, so yeah, we'll keep that at 50% and see how that goes. 
maybe we'll try something else here because yeah, I'm not unfortunately charging my car. All right, so just to prove that this is technically possible, I have decided to try the Hyundai vehicle to load adapter and I am not getting a ground fault on that one. So if you do need to use a vehicle to load adapter to charge another vehicle, unfortunately I can't recommend the Electron adapter. However, that's a pretty rare use scenario. So we're gonna go ahead and try some other things that'll work on 120 volts. But yeah, this vehicle now is charging successfully. Uh, I don't know if it's, well, you can't see that there, but it says another four hours and 30 minutes to get up to 100% from 85%. Um, yeah, it is definitely working through the Hyundai vehicle to load adapter. Now, having said that, I do still prefer the Electron one because look at the size difference. It actually is way smaller. So if it were me, I would stick with this one regardless because I mean, how often are you gonna be charging another EV with your Ionic 5? This is gonna be a little nicer uh, for every other use case scenario. All right, well, seeing as that didn't work, I decided to grab this polisher. Now this thing is 1700 watts, so it'll really be pushing the limits of this vehicle to load adapter. So let's give it a shot. All right, so it's got multiple speeds. We're gonna start at the lowest setting. There we go. Let's ramp it up. There we go, full speed. Yeah, I guess if you want to polish your car, but you don't want to run a power cord all the way to it to uh, use the polisher, then uh, you just plug it into your car. That's pretty cool. That's 1700 watts and it was able to hold that and sustain it without uh, without blowing any sort of breakers or anything like that. So yeah, pretty cool. This thing works. So really the only use case that this won't work for is charging another vehicle. Possibly in future iterations, they'll solve that. But again, that's not what most people are buying these for. So do I like it? Absolutely. If you can save, well, 50, 60, 70 dollars going with this over the Hyundai vehicle load to load adapter and you don't need to use it to charge other vehicles, then this is a great option. It's a little bit more compact and it works just as well for everything else. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day.